know that you uh, put your paper on hold in 2020 over the, the pandemic. What led to that decision to put that on hold after so many years? Um, I wish I could take credit for that situation, but I really can't. My parents made the decision. Um, they wanted me to focus on school more. I'd been doing, I mean, I'd been doing the newspaper for what, like five years at least. It was, um, it was a lot for me. And I think my parents wanted me to realize that I have more, like more options and more things I can do outside of journalism. And I mean, I might return to journalism one day, but I'm ultimately very happy for that decision because I've been able to explore a lot of the other things I like. I'm back in school now, which is nice because I was homeschooled for a while. So now I'm focusing on school and all the, all the normal teenager things. And so now you're, now that hopefully not kind of repeats of what there is where heading if not out of the pandemic into some new safer phase where we can be out and about in the world so you're giving speeches again did you miss it are you happy to be back to it i missed it so much i'm so happy i love speaking it has to be one of my favorite things i really i mean i didn't even realize how much i missed it until i gave this speech recently and i remember when i finished it i was like oh my gosh i need to do this again i cannot wait that long again to do it when you're asked in, in, in the speech that esteemed audience can watch down, you go through and you uh, lay out very clearly a case for why um, American media has, you know, in generalized terms, um, lost the trust of the American people. Why do you think that is? I think a lot of the news outlets and a lot of reporters are just um, getting like they share their opinions a lot. And I think, you know, the America is pretty divided. So no matter what like opinion you give, there's going to be a certain, there's going to be um, a lot of people who aren't going to trust you now because of that opinion. I also think a lot of journalists are kind of struggling to stay objective and to have like a really um, obje objective point of view, which I mean, I get it's difficult, but I think that is something that's so essential to journalism. Gotcha. And so if they would just be more objective and less uh, less partisan one way or another, then maybe we could trust them a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for editorials and like, you know, speaking your opinions and your thoughts. I am with that 100%. I just think it should be separate than a news story that you're reporting that you're putting out there. Gotcha. What are your political opinions? No, that was success, I... you know. <laughs> <laughs> But if you if you're willing to share, by all means, go right ahead. <laughs> uh, no, as a reporter, I mean, if I ever choose to go back to it, I'd like to I'd like to reserve that just in case I want to go back to reporting. I also like to think that it should be a thing that we could be reserved to be changed by uh, over time. Yeah. Uh, your opinions aren't changing. Yeah, anymore. that's another thing. I'm very young, and I am uh, very firm in my beliefs, but. Whatever I say now, I can get more educated and I can learn more and I can completely change my mind. But the thing I said at 15 will always be immortalized online. So <laughs> it's probably not best for me to share it. Well, that is a problem, but you don't do much of social media. So a tweet coming back to bite you is not as much of a concern as this whole volume of memoir <laughs> that you've <laughs> put out into the world. <laughs> 